It's been a few years since I replaced my suds tank contents and uh, as you can see we've got a few alien life forms there. <laughs> anyway we'll uh, we'll mix up some new. I've always intended to make a an oil skimmer for the suds tank, but never got round to it. Trouble is the list is pretty long. <laughs> mm. Working around this camera is not too easy, I might add. Never mind. Ten more to go.
weld on the lugs at the precise mark and line up the holes using a bolt before clamping and welding. I can't show you the welding because this camera doesn't like it. At this stage ensure that all the pushers do indeed fit the linkage arms. It's far easier to uh, adjust them now. You can't do it once you've uh, welded it to the transfer plate.
the main column of the machine I would like to have gone to a solid billet of steel but uh, the only piece I had was this and uh, I soon found out this has been nitrated and there's no way I'm going to touch that it's as tough as old boots I think it was part of a demolition um, JCB type tool so I'm going for a, a heavy wallet tube well, I've turned down a collar to uh, fit the tube and that will be fine Here I have temporarily assembled uh, the machine. As you can see, it's uh, two parallel motions joined together. Not to be confused to a pantograph. This has a greater range than a pantograph and will cover uh, outside the table. But it's fixed at one to one ratio. This is the stylus end and this is the tooling end. And here I have a 3,000 or so, or is it more, probably more, uh, die grinder, electric die grinder with a quarter inch chuck, and uh, that sits in there, no troubles at all. But we're not limited to uh, tooling from uh, such a die grinder and so forth. Here I can put in uh, milling cutters of different diameters, up to a quarter of an inch, and uh, the stylus I can change the by uh, lathing the end to different diameters to the tool size so I have an exact copy. More on that in a minute. The, the arrangement which needs some explanation is here and I will give details of that in a moment if you contemplate making one. But we're not, we're not limited to the die grinder. This could equally well be a plasma cutter. It can equally well be a router, Dremel, laser, and in fact at the moment I'm working on a single point diamond, industrial diamond, scratch, drag engraver, as I have decorative copy from my graver graph. More details on this arrangement, which is quite uh, important. I'll get rid of this. I should point out that this is primarily a two-axis machine, X and Y, but I do have rise and fall in this direction. Um, but a third, up and down, rise and fall, is nowhere near as accurate as the X and Y, because the action must take place through an arc. So I consider it a, 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 a two-axis machine. The, the hinge arrangement here needs a little... See if I can zoom in. Yes, that's okay. Move it up a bit. All right, that'll do. This hinge arrangement, to allow this to rise and fall, could be made a parallel motion, in which case the whole thing would be a three-axis machine, but uh, I haven't gone that complicated. But you can see it's a basically a hinge. And this main part here... Let's use this pen. This main part here... It's welded to this plate, but it's backed off, it's packed out, should I say, two millimetres. And the reason for that is it gives clearance here and here. 
Likewise, this bush and this bush is welded to this plate. They too are backed off 2mm to give clearance along here. If you adopt that approach now, you can save yourself a lot of uh, hassle. Whenever I make such a video, I'm forever asked for plans. Well, you should know by now, I, I don't really do plans. I expect you to take the uh, concept and uh, improve on it. Make a better one. Um, if I ever build things a second time, I, I make modifications. So, at the end of this video, there's a short section of, well, quick sketches if you like, because I'm no draftsman, but I give a few dimensions if you want to uh, copy this. But I'd much prefer that uh, you develop your own. Let me know how you get on. Um, I don't charge for plans because I don't do plans. But if you appreciate this uh, video and find it of some value, you're more than welcome to make a donation. You'll find that on the top of my uh, channel uh, banner. Donation Appreciation, POC. And it's next door to the subscribe. So do that as well if you wish. I hope you found this interesting.